guys welcome to a new video today i got some news by i got some news i mean poke beach got some news as usual and i'm here to steal it pokemon has just released a video for its upcoming expansion battle styles uh the video is actually really cool it features a lot of cards and pokemon animated fighting each other it's, it's a really cool video and i kind of hope they keep doing it but more importantly they revealed new cards new cards or whatever but a new mechanic that's something special. This next expansion is going to be centered around Urshirifu, uh, Rapid Strike, and Single Strike from the Pokemon video game. If you guys play that, who knows. Uh, and it's going to have two teams, basically. Kind of similar to Team Magma, Team Aqua, Plasma, where they have a bunch of Pokemon supporting that style. So, for example, you have an Embor here. The Single Strike, it supports the Single Strike format. Fighting Fury Stance, Strike single strike Pokemon deal 30 more damage. On its own, stage two that does 30 more damage already exists. We have Incineroar from an older set. I don't really remember which set, but it exists and it doesn't see play. So this card on its own, probably not going to see any play. On the other hand, we got Rapid Strike Octillery. Now the Rapid Strike team gets an Octillery that has a Rapid Strike Search. Once you're in your turn, you can search your deck for a Rapid Strike card, put it into your hand, and shall I reveal it and put it into your hand. Can't use it more than once a turn. On its own, eh, really good card. Like, just looking at this card, you know it's really good. And if Rapid Strike has good supporting Pokemon, then this card's going to be insane. Especially an Expanded, where you can pair it with the other Octillery that draws you five cards, or draws you up to five cards a turn. This card is absolutely bonkers. Another rap, two Rapid Strike Pokemon, Urshirifu and Urshirifu... Yeah. <laughs> so the single strike Urshirifu V Max has three colorless, 100 beat down. Eh, eh. It's kind of this kind of reminds me of a Charizard to be honest. It's the same kind of Charizardy attack. You know, four five four energy, uh, two seventy. You discard all the energy. It's not affected by anything. So it hits through barriers. It hits through anything. It's two seventy plus regardless of anything. But you discard all, all energy. So very Charizard vibes from, from this card. And on the other hand, we have Urshirifu VMAX Rapid Strike. With probably, this is probably going to be one of my favorite cards to play. I love this card so much. Gale Thrust, 30 damage. If one fighting, if this Pokemon moved from your bench to the active slot this turn, it has 120 more damage. So right off the bat, Golisopod GX. This, this card's Golisopod. It's fighting type, single energy, 150 base for the Glissapod effect, which is probably about right for the current meta. His other attack, though, is what really, really makes me enjoy it. G-Max Rapid Flow, two fighting and colorless, discard all energy from this Pokemon, it does 120 damage to two Pokemon. So for three energy, instead of, you know, getting an armor press for 100 or something, you deal 240 damage split between two Pokemon. That's insane. You hit something for 150, you hit nothing for 150, you G-Max Rapid Flow, and you kill two of them. You take like four to five prize cards. It's insane. You can kill two support Pokemon, so your opponent has, you know, two Octillery on the bench or something. It's boom, they're both dead. What are they going to do? Absolutely nothing. So I, I think Rapid Strike, right off the bat, is going to be such a strong archetype, and such a strong mechanic in the uh, next season, especially in Expanded. I think Rapid Strike, even Single Strike, might be playable and expanded. Here we can see the basics. Yeah, Urshirifu, Laser Focus, search your deck for two fighting, attach it to this Pokemon, shuffle your deck. Eh, it's kind of like a Zygarde. <laughs> this reminds me of Zygarde. Impact Blow 180, can't attack, or can't use Impact Blow, whatever. The Rapid Strike 1, Strafe, actually kind of good. Um, You start it, you Strafe, you hit for 30, that might be a break point. You retreat it, it's on your bench. Next turn, it becomes your active, and you hit for 150. Uh, and then 100 Furious Blows, whatever. That's a, just that's just another attack. But Strafe actually might be a relevant attack. Uh, just like Laser Focus will probably be a relevant attack on Single Strike. Some of the other Pokemon they revealed. We got Empoleon. With a very interesting text box. The ability Emperor's Eyes, as long as this Pokemon is in the active slot, your opponent's basic Pokemon in play have no abilities, except for Pokemon with a rule box. This is the first time they've ever referenced rule box in the game. 
and I was kind of confused. But Pokemon V, GX, etc. have rule boxes. So when you look at a Pokemon V, you'll notice at the bottom here, the V rule. This is a rule box. So any EX, any GX, any anything that says um, when you have a rule, breaks might even have a rule. I'm not really sure if Pokemon breaks have a rule. But anything like that will still have abilities, which I don't like. I thought this was just going to be Silent Lab as an ability as in the active, and I think that's great. I think that would be really cool to see. You know, it slows the game down a little bit. You get rid of the Zacians, you get rid of Dedenne's, Crobats. But stopping basic Pokemon, only basic Pokemon have no abilities. Like, what basic Pokemon have abilities right now? There's nothing. There's Zacian. There's Crobat. There's Dedenne. Right? There's, there's really nothing that this thing is good against. Um, so I, I really don't think this card is going to see any play. Um, yeah, you expanded even, like, I don't, pfft, I don't, have, this card is just bad. Like, that little rule box, as cool as it is that they referenced it, don't think the card's good enough to see any kind of play. Um, the other V, the other V for, a uh, single strike is Tyranitar, uh, Cragalanche, cool card, cool attack name. Discard top two of your opponent's deck, Tyranitar flavor you discard. And single strike crush, you discard top four of your deck, but for 240. It's a lot of damage. Uh, but four cards, eh, for four energy, eh, I don't think this will see play. Unless there's a VMAX that attaches four energy to itself, I, I think this card's just filler, kind of, eh, eh, just the random garbage. We got Mind Shao, Rapid Strike Mind Shao, similar to the Mind Shao from like phew, Furious Fists, I think it is where it kind of just bounces itself. Pound, 20, whatever. Spinning Whip for 2 energy, 90. Your opponent's active is confused. You shuffle this card into your deck. So it's very similar to the Furious Fists one. You bounce it, you put a doll up or something, put a Wobbuffet up, and then you set it up next turn to do the same thing. Except this time it confuses. Confusing is really good. Um, for 2 energy, though, it's kind of hard. You can't... You can run belts, I guess, but you can't just attach to a boom, boom, boom. All right, you need two energy. So you have counter energy, and maybe there's a special energy for Rapid Strike. We shall see. And then Houndoom, Single Strike, the last English card that got revealed in the trailer. Single Strike, Roar, once during your turn, search your deck for a Single Strike energy card, attach it to one of your Single Strike Pokemon, shuffle your deck. If you attach an energy this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. I really like this card. Obviously, this card is the direct synergy with Urshirifu uh, Single Strike. Uh, you use it, you power this thing up, you hit for 270 and maybe one turn. Who knows if you have enough Houndooms on your bench. Uh, really cool card. Does some really cool things. Uh, the two damage counters I kind of like, because way back when, that's how Acceleration used to be. If you searched your deck for something, you did something, you put two damage counters on it. You know, That was the thing. And this kind of... This kind of balances it out, you know. If you want to accelerate, you take a little bit of damage. That's just the way of the way of the game. If you scroll down here, we see a bunch of the products. Yeah, you know, we see a new Jolteon, Energize, whatever, Thunder, whatever. The packs look really cool. I must say, these these booster packs look absolutely beautiful. Or it's a better picture. There we go. Like, looks so much like Primal Clash. It reminds me so much of Primal Clash. Like, the art's amazing. You got an Eevee, whatever. Got a Charmander, eh. And we got this guy, which already exists. It's just a promo art, but it's a cool coin. Then we scroll down. Here's the video. Here's some art. Here's some more art. We scroll down here. We see more Japanese cards that got revealed. So let's go through them. Billowing Fan Rapid Strike. This is a rapid strike. So even trainers will have the text, much like Plasma, Team Aqua. There will be like a whole whole plethora of cards for both archetypes, which I really enjoy. I love tribes in Pokemon. I think they should keep going with tribes. Um, maybe add more tribes, add like a Team Flare tribe, add a Rocket tribe, add, a, add these tribes that just continuously get support. I think would make the game so cool. It'd be very interesting to see how they would do it, but I think tribes would be amazing in this game. But yeah, let's get to the cards. Billowing Fan. Return a special energy card attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon to the bottom of your opponent's deck. So it's, at first glance, it's just a worse hammer, enhanced hammer. But this is a tutorable enhanced hammer. 
So if your opponent's Pokemon has a special energy and you want to get rid of it, and you have an Octillery in play, you can just search it. Just like, I'm going to get rid of that energy. There you go, thanks. Thanks, bud. Super good card. And with Havers seeing play in the format right now, this card might actually be pretty good as a little tech. You put two of them in there, you'll draw them whenever you want them. Seems good. I like it. Um, we're going to skip this card for now. We'll go to it afterwards. We'll get the Rapid Strike Energy. So here's a de the double energy I hinted at earlier. <laughs> it can only be attached to a Rapid Strike Pokemon. Makes sense, you know. You can't be attaching Rapid Strike to Single Strike. Whatever. While this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides water and fighting energy, but only provides two energy at, the, at a time. So, you attach it, it provides either two fighting... Oh no, it provides one fighting and one water, I think, or one of each, or two of one. I'm not really sure exactly. It's, it's a rough translation. I'm pretty sure you get to choose, but... If you don't get to, even if you do get to choose and it's one of each, it's still really good. This card will be how you hit uh, 120 to two things. So you just attach this, attach the, the fighting energies already on it, boom. This, this card's insane. This card's so good. I can't believe they printed this card. It's nuts. And now we'll get to Mustard. This card is cool. Like, this whole set just reminds me of Team Aqua vibes because of this these kind of cards. Got Mustard Rapid Strike Stance. You only play this card if it's the last card in your hand, or the only card in your hand. Put a Rapid Strike Pokemon from your discard onto your bench, then draw five. So it's Archie. It's Archie, Maxi. It's the same same effect. But but this one's from your discard. The other one is from your deck. So it, it's, it's kind of interesting how they're doing things. I like this card. I think this is a really cool card. It's a card that's easier to balance because you just don't print a card that's broken with Rapid Strike on it. Uh, you can print, like, another Octillery, or uh, another, who knows, any other kind of card that locks your opponent. Um, but just don't put Rapid Strike on it, and then this card's useless with it. Seems good. Single Strike Vitality Jar. Choose two Single Strike Energy cards from a discard pile, reveal them, shuffle them into your deck. It's good. Um, it's alright. It's nothing special, really. It's just a... Uh, Special charge, kind of, for only single strike energy, so eh. Eh, it's nothing too special. Our single strike energy, though, is kind of cool. Um, on this card's attached to a single strike Pokemon, it provides either dart or and fighting, but only provides one at a time. So you get to kind of choose which one, which is what normal. Attacks from this Pokemon deal 20 more damage, though. So this is strong energy uh, for single strike Pokemon, which is really cool. I like it. Uh, it's only one energy, the other one is two. I think two energy is probably more powerful, especially with the amount of energy needed to use Urshurifu's attacks. But, still a really good card. I like it. You can recycle them with Vitality Jar, you can use Houndoom to kind of get them back out. It's a cool card. I, I do I do like both of these cards. Then we got Mustard Single Strike, the alternate, with a really different art style. It's really more gritty. It's like apocalyptic almost. Play this card if it's the last card in your hand. Search your deck for a single strike Pokemon. Put it onto your bench. Draw five. So the other one's discard. This one's deck. Um, I'm not really sure how you would use this in standard. Like how you would actually get this to be the only card in your hand. I guess just play a lot of items that you burn. I don't know. It's probably a way. I just haven't look, really looked into it yet. <laughs> but expanded. It's playable. Searching your deck is better than discard. It's a lot easier to get off. Um, yeah, seems alright. I think both of these cards will be like one of techs in your deck, especially the Rapid Strike one, or if you get Reset Stamp to one, you have Octillery on the bench, you can play your one card, and then use Octillery to search this guy out, and just kind of reset. Seems good. Both of them seem really powerful. Now, what's a tribe without a tool card that provides an attack? <laughs> so for Rapid Strike, we got this bad boy, the Whirlpool Scroll. Attached to your Pokemon, doesn't have a tool on it, blah blah blah. The Rapid Strike Pokemon's card is attached to, can use this attack. The attack, for fighting two colorless, it does 30 damage to all your opponent's Pokemon. So it's kind of cool, it's kind of a good finisher, potentially. Say you, your opponent's VMAX has like 10 HP left or something like that, which would probably happen fairly often, just with the damage outputs that these guys do. Uh, you just pop this bad boy on it, 
30 to everything, and then there are your breakpoints. You just start hitting them. <laughs> Could be played. These these tools never really did get played. Like, there's G-Booster way back in the day that got played. Genesect DX that got played. But that's because it had a ramp. This this doesn't really have ramp. Hmm. We'll see. Seems cool. This card's really good. I really like this card, though. This card's insanely good. Single Strike, same thing. Um, only attached to single strike Pokemon. For one fighting, Fury, 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So, if you scroll up here, you'll see this guy has a lot of HP. If this guy survives a hit, he's at 300. You pop that scroll on him, he's dishing 310 for one fighting energy. I think this card's really good. It'd be, probably be played. I definitely see this card being played. Uh, not much else I can really say about it. It seems good. That's about it. The stadiums, yeah, Tower of Darkness. Once during each turn, each turn, the player may discard a single strike card from hand, draw two cards. Uh, it seems good. I'm not sure, like, how, f it depends on how full your deck is of single strike cards. Like, if you're only running a couple Pokemon, this card's not going to get played. But if your whole deck is centered around single strike and almost at least half of your deck or plus is single strike, this card's insane. You can just discard almost anything to draw two. I really like it. Seems cool. It's like Scorched Earth, Heat Factory kind of thing. Seems good. Tower of Waters, the Rapid Strike variant. The repeat cost of Rapid Strike Pokemon is two colorless less. Uh, the instant synergies that I can think of is Urshriku. It has two retreat. You know, you pop this guy active. You're like, ah, oh, I, put, I put my Octillery up or my Empoleon up. Or any any rapid strike Pokemon up. Well, good thing it has free retreat now. Seems kind of good and standard. Thin expanded though. I might build a list just preemptively, just with these cards. I think expanded. You're just gonna play Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill search out your artillery, search out your Shurifu, Deancey, all the stuff you want. Um, but still good cards. I uh, do. I really like this set and the expansion. Next up, we got Honey. Uh, not really relevant to any team. It's just a good card. Draw a card for each Pokemon V your opponent has in play. It's a good card. Your opponent has like four Pokemon V, draw four cards. Opponent has more, draw more cards. You're playing against Eternatus, draw ten cards. You know, like, it's actually a pretty cool card. I do, I do like this card a lot. And then Japan, they revealed these promo versions of Single and Rapid Strike or Shurifu. The Single Strike, 30 damage, whatever. 180, not affected by resistance or 4 energy, not that good. Uh, the Rapid Strike one, 40, eh. 3 fighting, colorless, 90, does 20 to 2 of your opponent's Pokemon. Bench Pokemon, eh. Might be good. I think Strafe is probably better though. And then Rillaboom and Cinderace, 60, heal 30, and then just 160 for 4. Nothing special, kind of bad to be honest. Cinderace, 50, 210, and it can attack next turn for 4. Um, not very good. These cards are just whatever. But all together, I really like this set. These sleeves are also really cool. Karina? Oh, dude. Hope they reprint Karina. Give me a Karina card again. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, these, these cards, this whole mechanic of single strike, rapid strike, I think is amazing. I think it'll be a really cool thing. I hope they keep pushing it with different mechanics maybe bring back plasma bring back a heat bring a yell mechanic bring back magma but make it good don't make it bad <laughs> like there's so much they could do with tribes in this game and if they had like a set amount of tribes say like an evil tribe or a dark tribe or something like that again it'd be so cool it would add like a level of diversity to the game as opposed to just big pokemon go burr you know yeah, that's what i had to say about these cards uh, thanks for watching. If you stuck your way through it, I appreciate it. And uh, maybe I'll see you live on my Twitch stream one day. Twitch.tv slash Checkered. Check it out. I stream. Pokemon stuff. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and I appreciate it. See you later.